and welcome to Critical Strike 74, another music episode. Uh, about two years ago, uh, I was really big into chiptunes, and I did two chiptune-themed uh, episodes of Critical Music at the time, and uh, they were extremely popular, and I'm actually really shocked of how, how well they did, but uh, it, it really helped a lot of my friends get to understand what a chiptune is, and... Uh, get into it and some of them have even found some artists of their own that they really love and everything else and that's really really awesome but uh I, at the time I, I kind of also became spiteful of those episodes because they became so big and uh I didn't want to do another one at the time I really didn't but I was pushed for it and the reason why I didn't want to do another one is I got really tired of not to say that chip all chip tunes are like that but the ones that I played back then were like kind of your dance poppy techno-ish type ones. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's really what I was into at the time. And then I kind of got out of it. And so I lost interest altogether. And uh, with that said, I have recently started to get back into chiptunes. And am now doing a lot more... Uh, Finding them where there you have so many different styles out there. You have the emotional style chip tune. You have uh, chip tunes of vocals. You have obviously the pop dancey stuff. And this one here, I'm trying a bit more. I have one with with vocals. I have uh, several that I think will kind of just make you feel a little bit of emotion and think a little bit while you're listening to it. And then obviously your your dance poppy stuff. But that's the amazing thing about chiptunes is because they are very creative and all of these artists are, are absolutely amazing with what they're doing with the hardware or the programs or everything that they're using to create this music that you normally would not hear. And it's just really unique. And uh, yeah, I, I have nothing but praise for these people because <laughs> what they're creating is, is awesome and uh, I could not do it. So I hope everybody enjoys it. Uh, it's been two years since I've done a chiptune episode, so... I know there's a lot of new listeners who have no clue what that might be. Uh, a chiptune is generally just uh, what somebody will create on a either custom or an old piece of uh, computer hardware, like uh, the Commodore 64 is one of the most popular ones, uh, the NES and the Game Boy. So people are making their own music on this old game hardware, and that's really awesome. And now you have some who are doing it on computers with programs set up to simulate and emulate uh, this hardware and everything else. And then you have people who are creating their own hardware to make this music. It's just such a really cool community that uh, has built up over the years. And there's a ton more artists uh, out now than when I did the episodes two years ago. So I hope everybody enjoys it. And uh, thank you for listening.
All right, that's going to wrap it up for this edition of Critical Strike. I, I hope you appreciate uh, all these fine artists out there and uh, have a better understanding of what a chiptune is. And hopefully everybody who listened to this will seek them out and uh, buy some of their albums or support them and do whatever it takes because these guys work their ass off. There's some really impressive music out there. Um, yeah, it was really sweet to come back and, and do... Uh, actually what became two of the most popular episodes of Critical Music, the band one, which uh, I did a few weeks ago, I believe it was, uh, another one of those, and now that I've returned to doing chiptunes. So that's two of the biggest Critical Musics, and I've done another one. Uh, everybody should be happy now because those are the two that everybody wanted another one of. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of happy nobody's asked for another one of the NES ones. But... um yeah, I actually really fell in love with uh, this episode because it, it brought me back to listening to chiptunes, which I have not done for a long time. And some of my favorite artists have put out some some amazing music since that one, like uh, Null Sleep. I've, I've always loved his music, and I, I've discovered a lot more out there as well, and I've bought a ton of albums in the process of making this, so... Yeah, I, I cannot complain at all. I'm happy to be back involved with the uh, listening of chip tunes, and maybe one day we'll do another one, but I'm not going to promise it uh, for quite a while because I just don't want to overdo uh, having chip tunes in the episodes like I did before. The next one I, I'm pretty sure is going to be just another random video game episode where uh, I just play random songs because I haven't done that for a while. Uh, one of the biggest traps from before is I got too hooked on doing themed episodes between the Capcom, NES, chiptunes, and band music, and all these other great uh, themed episodes, which actually became kind of a pain in the ass in the long run. But thank you for listening. Uh, we appreciate it. Please leave us an iTunes review, and make sure you seriously uh, look out for some of these artists because they are great. Uh, as you can tell all, in the track list, all their names and the song names are there. So seek them out if you enjoyed any of the specific songs because they deserve it. And I'm sure you will find a bunch of music that you enjoy in the process. All right. So, uh, hopefully we will be back to our regular scheduled, uh, podcasting, <laughs> uh, system schedule thing that we do. And, uh, work has been hell with both of us lately. So neither Kyle and I have actually even talked in like two or three weeks. So yeah, there's that. And uh, we'll be back. So everybody enjoy this and the last couple of music episodes you got. All right. Peace out.